So, we're here with the Crossland CC1 machine, and I just poured from the refrigerator 5 ounces of 1% low fat milk, and we're going to uh, we're going to see how long it takes to steam this from wherever it arises at. This looks like it's about uh, 42 degrees. I've got my steam ready light on, and as soon as I go, on, or as soon as I insert the milk into the wand, uh, I'll start the timer going. So, we've got the uh, steam going. It's getting a little drier. And it'll start now. Okay. Approaching uh, 60. Maybe about 70. 80. 90. We're at 100. Getting a little hot there. 110, 120, 130, and right now 140. So that's about 50 seconds. I'm going to reset, uh, start it, and uh, turn the uh, steaming off, and turn the uh, menu over to brew time. Uh, and see how long, whoops, we will, uh, see how long that takes. Uh, so we're at about 20 seconds, and I think my brew temperature is about, uh, 1, or about 204, so it's probably going to take about a minute to get up there. We'll see. We're at 30 seconds right now. 35. And then after we hit that, uh, I will then go back to steam, and we'll see how uh, we'll see how the steam is doing. And here's a look at some of the uh, microfoam, and it's it's gone up. It's now like one uh, one just below 160 degrees on the thermometer. And we're at 200, we're and a minute and seven seconds, so we're not quite ready for a brew yet. Actually, it wouldn't be that bad, but the machine isn't indicating it's ready at this point. Okay. So we're at about a minute and a half. We're about two degrees away. Actually, it's solid now, so even though we didn't get a beat, we're at... Uh, uh, we're at brute, we're ready to brew. So what I'm going to do now is go back to steam mode, uh, press it, and immediately we're ready to steam again. And uh, this might be a little messy, but uh, we're ready to steam. Uh, it is wet for a few seconds, and then it dries out. But I'm pretty sure that uh, I could steam like this for days. Our temperature's not even dropping yet. We'll turn that back off. And uh, again, I'll uh, go back to brew here. And uh, the brew's blinking. So I didn't note the time. But I'll try this time, and that will have to add a few seconds there. But when this goes solid, it means we're ready to brew again. I guess it may not beat, but it will go solid. I think it's got about three degrees to climb up to. Okay, it's solid. So, whoa, no it's not. It it's blinking again.
Maybe we should wait for a beat here. We're about 40 seconds after that steam blast. 45. About a minute. Minute 10. Okay, it's solid. We didn't get a beat, but about a minute 15, and we're at our brew temperature, and it's solid. We didn't get a beat, but I think we only get a beep the first time, um, so it's not constantly beeping as it, uh, as it overshoots and undershoots the exact temperature. So again, we could cycle this and go back to steam and back and forth, but uh, I think we have... Uh, we have about a 50 second time from 40 to 140 uh, degrees Fahrenheit of 5 ounces of 1% low fat milk. And about a minute to, to a minute and a half going back from steam to our brew temperature, or about a minute and 16 seconds. Okay, thank you.